mention it all. Mention it all. Goodbye, Kyle. Who's calling who a frog? Love you, baby. Bye. Hello everybody Troop, welcome back. I'm the real Andy over Ray Hills and we need to talk about Miss Jackie Goldschneider from the Real Housewife of New Jersey because she just gave a powerful statement that we definitely need to discuss. But before we get into it, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Do it right now. If you are new here and you want to join the Beverly Troops, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, guys. We are on our way to 30K. So if you want to join the family, you know what to do. And let's talk about this mess. But in this case, yes, it's a mess. But I think it is just like a time to show support. All right. So, as we know, Jackie Goldschneider, she has been uh, dealing with some problems, you know, uh, mental issues and food issues for, like, m most of her life. And now it was basically kind of, like, taking on toll on her and her family. Uh, we, have, we have seen little games here and there on this season. And finally, she's decided to get the help that she need. And she just wrote this powerful statement on social media that I was like, you know what? I think it's definitely worth it to uh, read it to you guys and to talk about it. So it says over here, let me find it. Tonight's episode marked the beginning of my recovery from an 18-year-long eating disorder that took over my mind, my body, and my life. 18 years of dangerous habits, secretive behaviors, and obsessing eating and exercise patterns that I was terrified to let go of because I wrapped so much of my identity about being thin. I was ashamed of my behavior around food and scared that people wouldn't understand why or how I could do this to myself. I also didn't know how to get help as a middle-aged woman with four young children. There's so much shame around EDs and eating disorders and so many things that people don't know about them. And because of that, millions of us struggled in silence. A person dies every 52 minutes from an eating disorder, which means over 10,000 deaths each year. In my darkest days, I desperately wanted to see someone who had suffered like I suffer and who had successfully recovered and lived a happy life. When I ultimately decided to acknowledge and recover from this, I wanted to be that person for as many other people as I could. Having these conversations on camera was terrifying at times and heartbreaking to watch back. But I am thankful that I am finally on this road and I am grateful to Bravo for allowing me to break my silence so publicly so that people know there is no shame in having an eating disorder or in asking for help and that help is available for anyone at any stage of life. If you are struggling with an eating disorder, please call the National Eating Disorder Association hotline at 800-931-2237 or visit www.nationaleatingdisorders.org for help getting start with recovery. Thank you for all of your messages of love and support. They have been so empowering and incredibly appreciated. XOXO, Jack. Wow. So, um, we talk about this a little bit. Uh, I think it was back in the first or second episode that she was actually talking about this. And, you know, this is the kind of problems when you kind of like put everything aside and you really realize that these people who are on our TVs are actually human beings and that they actually go through uh, some powerful stuff, you know. And eating disorders, yes, they can really destroy 
people. They can really kill. They, they kill people like every single year, just like Jackie was saying over here. So I'm I'm very glad to see Jackie um, taking accountability first of all. You know, into like owning owning ugh, Latino woman guys owning what what she's going through. Okay, this is the perfect sample that she needs to set for her children. Like, I mean, for example, if she was like dancing semi-naked around on her Instagram so her daughter could see that, I mean, that will be another thing. But she's not doing that. She's actually acknowledging her problems, you know, and she's actually uh, taking accountability. And I think that's very important. She has little kids who need to have their mom for the rest of their life. And I'm, I mean, now they're getting older and they're starting to realize more and more things. And one day they're going to be like, yo, like my mom really have a problem. You know, she's really struggling with this. Um, so I'm happy that she's getting the help that she needs. Now, getting help is just the first step. And as any person who suffers with this kind of like an addiction, it's a mental issue, but it's, you know, something like that. So as, as any person who will deal with that will tell you, this is not something that you're going to go and do a little program and then you're going to be healed forever in like three weeks, you know, and that's going to be it for the rest of your life. She's going to have to be dealing with this for the rest of her life, probably. And the fact is that if you are suffering from any of this, you need to understand that there is a way out of it. And more than a way out of it is a way to regain control of your body of your and, and your mind. At the end of the day, these are just, these are things that are happening inside your brain. And thankfully now in 2022, we have so many tools that will help you achieve and regain control over these situations, you know, uh, no matter what you're going through, you know, it can be eating disorders or addiction or depression or anxiety or so many things that are, are, are being discovered every single day. We are finally getting a hold on all of that, all of that, you know. So if you are going through any of these, make sure to get help. That's the first part, you know. You need to realize that you need help because you need to realize that maybe you can do this alone, but it is so much better if you have someone beside you, no, someone next to you helping you reaching these goals, you know, and that's why there are all this help out there. Uh, there are so many hotlines. There are so many like uh, government programs, you know, that you can really have access to. Too. And I'm really, really proud of Jackie for taking the steps in the right direction. Now, as I said, the first step is accountability. Now she really, really needs to go and, you know, follow all the steps, which is not going to be easy. It, they're probably going to be dark days. They're probably going to be hard days. But just like that, there are going to be plenty of really nice, beautiful days. And one day, you know, the good days will be so much more than the bad days. And I think that's the goal at the end of the day. So I applaud her. I hope that she's doing great. I hope her kids are doing great. I hope I hope her husband is going to be next to her doing this whole um, situation. And yeah, that's it. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And like always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.